welcome back to my youtube channel if you guys are new to the channel be sure to click that subscribe button and turn on post notifications i'd like to give a special thanks to south motors infinity for giving me time with the 2022 infinity qx55 essential with all wheel drive if you're on the market for infinity you can come check out south motors infinity and they will get you into a new or pre-owned vehicle but let's talk about pricing here for the qx55 starting price is at fifty one thousand six hundred dollars including destination this one stickers for fifty four thousand one hundred and thirty five dollars but looking here at the front fascia of the qx55 very aggressive styling here it looks very elegant looking at this large grill here i actually like the design cues in the grill as you guys can see very nice design here in the grill looking here front and center there is the infinity emblem it does house the driver's assistance and this is the essential model so it does have this front facing camera there's front parking sensors with some chrome accents looking at the headlight modules here they're full led with an led turn signal daytime running light automatic low and high beam there is led fog lights here at the lower part of the fascia I want you guys to comment down below in the comment section. Tell me what you guys think about the QX55. But looking at the side proportions, this has a 110.2 inch wheelbase with an overall length of 186.5 inches. So really good proportions here from the QX55. Looking at these tires and wheels here, these are a 255 45 Bridgestone tire. They're wrapped in this 20 inch run design. I do like the multi-spoke design here with the black finish, also with the chrome finish as well. It looks really good here with this gray exterior color. There's some more chrome trim here at the lower part of the fender and around the window wells. There's this LED sight marker. The mirror is painted gloss black. And it's also the standard size sunroof with these aerodynamic roof rails. As you guys can see here from this angle, as you guys see, it does have this fastback design, which looks really nice on the side profile. But looking at these taillights here, I think this is the best feature of the rear of the vehicle is these full LED taillights, which is an LED turn signal, brake light, and reverse light. I like the taillight design. As you guys can see, I like the slits here in the actual taillight modules. There's the QX55 badge here. This also has dual tip exhaust with rear parking sensors. There's the Infinity name, which is spelled out. Also the Infinity emblem, which houses the backup camera right there. And like I mentioned, this does have all wheel drive. Press this button right here. It opens up the cargo to reveal 26.8 cubic feet of space. And underneath here, Infinity does give you some underfloor storage, which is really nice. And once you fold down to see it expands the cargo to 54.1 cubic feet of space but let's hop into the interior of the qx55 sitting inside the interior of the infinity qx55 looking at this cabin here i do like the materials that infinity uses very nice cabin layout not a big fan of the dual setup but you guys might like it instead of me this also has the bose performance audio sound system which sounds pretty good but reaching over here to shut the door of the qx55 the push button start is down here next to the shifter once you do that, like I mentioned, this is a dual setup here for the screen, but it does support Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as wireless, which is super nice. But let's talk about the materials here on the door panel. Nice leather material, really, really nice stitching here. I like this aluminum painted trim here on the actual door panel. There is this aluminum painted door handle here. Two person member seats, and like I mentioned, it does use the Bose Performance Audio Sound System, which sounds really good. There's your window controls here. It is auto up, auto down for RFI windows. Your lock controls and mirror adjustment controls are right here. There's additional cup holder and storage space down here. This area here is nice and padded, especially if you guys are driving on a long road trip. This is for the Infinity driver's assistance. There's parking sensors. You can also open up a trunk via that button there. Your fog lights, your headlight controls are here, and your dimmer switch is there. This is a power tilt and telescoping wheel. Really good amount of range and adjustability. There is paddle shifters for this variable compression ratio powertrain. There's your turn signal and automatic high beam stock here. The one over stock is right there. I like the three spoke wheel design. There's the infinity emblem here on the airbag cover over here is for your driver's assistance. It does have blind spot monitoring, lane keep assist. We're talking about the driver's assistance features in the test drive. I'm surprised there's no actual heads of display, but you do have good visibility out of the QX55, even with these bulges in the actual hood. The materials on the dash, nice leather, and the dash is very low, which I think is really good for visibility wise. Like I mentioned, this is a dual setup design here. As you guys can see, this is a touch screen at the top. As you guys can see, very responsive here. Going here to the Apple Maps, it does take up the entire screen at the top. All your other sources are going to be down here, which, is show, which shows you a destination by Google. You can also go to in-touch uh, services there, Infinity uh, Drive mode selector is there. So pretty different things. So you don't have it all in one screen. So I can see why Infinity still offers this dual setup, but you can customize this to your liking. As you can see, it already has the Apple Car set up there. There's uh, hard buttons here for the heated and cooled seats. There's a volume knob, shortcut buttons here for the sync track and radio. This is the actual key fob here for the QX55. Really nice key. Infinity did a really good job to uh, share, share away from Nissan, but this is a really nice key fob. It does feel nice to hold. There's a panic button, also a trunk release and a remote start mode. 
Over here is for the Type-C port, Type-A port. There's a 12 volt. My bottle of water fits just fine, the actual cup holders. Like I mentioned, the push button start is right here. To put the vehicle into reverse, just grab the shifter here and push up. It does reveal a top-down 360 view. There's trajectory with distance markers. The camera quality looks really decent here on the QX55. To put it into drive, just kick back on the shifter. There is manual mode because this does have paddle shifters. There's your drive mode selector here, which shows you uh, sport, personal, standard, and eco. So there's four different drive modes here on the QX55. And to put the vehicle into your park, just press the P button there. There's a there's electronic parking brake, auto hold. Over here, you can use this to basically uh, cycle through the screen. So you have to basically touch it if it's a far reach for you guys. But I do have long arms, so I can basically touch the screen. Or you can adjust the seat. There's the button here to access the camera. As you guys can see, it does show a front-facing camera with trajectory lines. There's a back button there, a map, voice. So you can customize the screen to your liking via this control here. The materials on the dash, really nice material. There's some more of the aluminum painted trim. Up at the glove compartment, it does offer a large storage. It's also lined with felt. The seats in here are supportive and comfortable. Very plush seats. As you guys see, look at the headrest. It's very plush uh, there. As you guys can see above me, there's a standard size sunroof. There's no panoramic sunroof, as you guys can see. Looking at the center armrest here, it does reveal a deep amount of storage. My iPhone 13 Pro Max is in there. There's a standard USB port. But overall, the Infinity QX55 does have a nice interior, but let's hop into the back seat. Getting into the back seat of the Infinity QX55, as you guys can see here, the door opens at a really good angle, so you can put your children back here. But getting back here, keep in mind, guys, if you guys are tall, you kind of have to duck your head because of this fast back roof line. But once I get back here, as you guys can see, I do have a decent amount of headroom here. Looking down here, Infinity says you get around 38.7 inches of legroom. I have a decent amount of foot space underneath the driver's seat. This is where I have the seat to drive. There is two map pockets back here for storage. There's rear air vents, a 12 volt right here. There's also a standard USB port. It's just only one, but looking here, the floor back here is not flat, but you can fit a middle passenger here if you like. The seats do feel very plush and very comfortable. Looking at the door panel materials really quickly, nice leather, nice stitching. I like this beautiful aluminum painted trim here. Also with the aluminum painted door handle, There's this also has the Bose audio sound system, which sounds freaking fantastic. This area here is gonna be nice and padded. There's also switch gear, which feels really nice. There's a cup holder right there in the actual door pocket. And there's the infinity name, which is spelled out in actual door seal. Looking over here and putting this armrest down, it does reveal two cup holders and a little bit of storage here. And you can also recline the seat in, slide the seat forward and back. And above me, there is no panoramic sunroof, but there is this standard size sunroof right here. But overall, the back seat of the QX55 does feel very spacious. Let's talk about the powertrain specs here for the QX55. This uses Infinity's two liter variable compression turbocharged engine. This powertrain makes 268 horsepower and 280 pound feet of torque. It's per a CVT transmission. As the QX55 sits, it weighs in around 4,000 pounds. Fuel economy is rated at 22 in the city, 28 on the highway, and 25 combined. So starting the driving scene off in the 2022 Infiniti QX55, this is the essential model with all wheel drive. So, and I have the vehicle in the sport mode here. <laughs> and this thing will get up the line really quickly that CVT is very snappy. A lot of people give CVTs a lot of crap, but they're really good for fuel economy and for performance. With this thing in the sport mode, it does get up to go really quickly here. But this powertrain is a two liter uh, variable compression turbo ratio uh, powertrain. It makes 268 horsepower and 280 pound feet of torque. I'm gonna put the vehicle back in its uh, standard mode here. Um, so really good horsepower and torque numbers is paired with a CVT transmission. So like I mentioned, it's good for uh, fuel economy and also for performance. And it does have paddle shifters here. So you guys wanna have that engage uh, driving or shifting your own gears you can do that quote unquote shifting your own gears because of the cvt transmission uh visibility out of the qx55 here is really good you also have a good commanding view of the road the seats feel very plush and very comfortable the seats do hold you in place there are also a three level heated and cool seats let's talk about fuel economy it's right at 22 in the city 28 on the highway and 25 combined really good fuel economy numbers here for this uh, four cylinder powertrain which is great but just driving the qx55 the ride quality is very plush. It feels very comfortable, especially on some harsher pavements here in Miami. We don't have the best road. But let's talk about the driver's assistance. It does have lane keep assist, adaptive cruise control, emergency braking with blind spot monitoring, foreclosure warning. So all the modern safety features that you guys want in a modern uh, SUV, Infinity does offer it here in the QX55. 
guys the powertrain is really good it does make some uh, noises here of course it's a four cylinder but once you put the vehicle into a sport mode it kind of dims down the noise but I think Infinity did a really good job here on the QX55 here. I'm not a big fan of the dual setup here. The visibility out of the front is great, but you do have these three bulges here because of the design. But once you guys own this vehicle, you're gonna get used to looking over the hood. So I don't think that's a deal breaker for me personally. I'm just not a big fan of the dual setup here, but it does support Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as wireless. So I think, I think that's a nice tech feature from Infinity. Like I mentioned, it does have three level heated and cooled seats, especially if you guys stay in sunny South Florida. Right now, the weather's kind of warming up, so the cool seats work phenomenal. But overall, I'm very impressed with the QX55 here. Infinity did a really good job. Great ride comfort, great powertrain, great fuel economy. But overall, if you guys are looking for something different in the segment, the QX55 is a really good option. After spending time with the 2022 Infiniti QX55 Essential with all-wheel drive, hope you guys have enjoyed this review here. Be sure to follow me on Instagram at Drive One Reviews and hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you all in the next review.